Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habata filah question was asked Assalamu alaikum brother Khalid when one has fungus between his toes and can't wash the rest of his feet except the area mentioned what do they do in wudu may Allah bless you and I'm really confused and I can't relate with fatwa online may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us and bless you guide us and guide you and forgive us and forgive you and may Allah tabarak wa ta'ala bless us with ilm al-nafiya wa rizqan tayyiban wa amin al-mutaqabilin ameen ya rabbil alameen the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said la darar wa la dirar there's no harm and there's no reciprocating harm and uh, bin jibreen ibn jibreen rahmatullah alayhi rahmatin wasi'a he mentioned in his fantastic book and I just got to say this let me put my plug in real quick uh, this is one of the best books that I've bought in the past uh four or five months and it is his uh tasheel al fiqh absolutely fantastic um i'm not it's about 12 10 12 volumes fat volumes full of just uh it, it's immense you know he was an alim and subhanallah this book is beautiful it's an excellent piece of research and really good for basic fiqh and he and it's really not basic the funny thing is i mean the way he's coming at it he's he's giving you uh he's make simplifying very detailed matters and giving you uh the uh you know the aqwal of, of ahl al -ilm. it's fantastic obviously it's it's not as um detailed is the fiqh muqarana that you really have with bin uthay means shar mumti' which is a more advanced uh book the asal of the the metan that text this is from a very very basic text and it's absolutely fantastic and a, a you know just a piece of gold that i bought and shara mumta the talib al -ilm must have as well that's a bin or means book um which is 15 volumes and absolutely a piece of uh gold with silver so getting on to the mas'ala hafizukumullah uh we'll make it easy we won't Go, but he, he says, Bin Jibreen says, وَإِن لَمْ يَسْتَطِعِ So if someone who is injured, that they can't wipe uh, the injured pl uh, place. And they're unable to uh, wipe the area due to some illness. Regardless of whether it has been wrapped, or you know, it has a bandage or some sort of wrap, or it has no nothing covering it you know that's an exposed inj uh, injury he said it's an obligation upon this person to wash their healthy uh their healthy body parts meaning their healthy body parts for the wudu if you're making wudu and in this situation your foot uh then you wash all the rest of the uh, uh body that is an obligation to wash for wudu uh, and he says, وَسَقْتَ عَنْهُ غُسُلْ مَا لَمْ يَسْتَطِعْ غُسْلُهُ وَلَا مَسَهُ And so it is uh, not, the, this, obliga this obligation is removed for the body part that's ill. Meaning to wash it or to wipe over it. If you, if you can't wipe due to the illness. So that means in your in a situation like that, for example, let's go a little change the message a little bit. If it's a serious foot injury and uh, you're unable to wash it, your doctor and it's thabita in the tib, uh, uh, tabib uh, Muslim. And this has been affirmed by a Muslim tabib, as some of the ulama mentioned, uh, or many of the ulama mentioned. However, you know, if it's a trustworthy doctor, which generally we trust our doctors that you cannot get water on that spot or it's going to increase the infection then you should not wash that part as bin jibreen, bin jibreen he mentions that sakata anhu because one of the conditions in in worship in general is al istita and this ranges from all acts of uh, ibadah regardless of whether it be tahara and salat and other things like this uh, all the way to jihad and other things that it's a condition Al istata that you are able to do that. You know, Allah you kalif Allahu nafsin illa wasaha. Allah Taala doesn't um, hold you accountable 
for that which you're unable to do. Okay? So, in this situation, Ahabatifillah, uh, Jibreel also, he, he makes uh, as evidence, he uses as evidence, a narration of uh, uh, Ibn Umar, radiallahu ta'ala anhuma, أنه قال إذا كان عليه أصاب مسه وإن لم يكن عليه أصاب غسل ما حوله ولم يمسه لم يمسه الماء. So Ibn Umar رضي الله تعالى عنه and he also uses other evidence but that should suffice us رضي الله تعالى عنهما he said that if a person has uh, you know some sort of wrap for uh, due to an injury and he is unable to uh, wash that, that part then then he should wash what's around it and he should not uh, you know wipe it with water so uh, this, amongst many other evidences, shows us that in the situation, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best, where you have this foot infection, that you should, uh, you know, make your wudu and wipe around it as much of your foot as possible so as not to, uh, you know, excluding the area that's injured. If it's in between one toe or whatever the case may be, and it's something serious, you know, and so that de is determined by a doctor on how serious this infection, if it's just something, a little infection, something like this, is different, th that can be cured very easily compared to something that's more severe. So you will wash the area around, wash as much of your foot as possible, and do not wash the injury. And as a side faida, that when you have these kinds of, uh, uh, this foot fungus, that one of the amazing cures from Eliza Wajel, uh, which is that which is mentioned from the Sunnah of the Prophet وسلم, is using honey, using a, a good quality honey, and sometimes and even a bad quality honey. This is the amazing thing, and I have had personal experience using honey for various for cuts and wounds, even sometimes low quality honey, and Subhanallah, and and coconut oil, also good uh, extra virgin coconut oil also will help heal this so i would say first use some honey in the area and leave it leave it overnight leave it as long as you can and uh repeat it for the first day or two you may notice in one day you may notice uh, an amazing result or two days three days you you probably should be fairly you know have some good results and uh and the coconut oil and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.